two minus ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. We're more than 30 seconds into flight. Telemetry showing 33 out of 33 engines as it's pitching down range. Booster, chip, avionics, power, and telemetry nominal. Here are good call outs on the ship and booster avionics. You just heard the rumble hitting us about six miles away. Watching Starship arc into just endless blue skies right now. Vehicle supersonic. More than a minute into flight, the vehicle supersonic. Max Q. So we just passed through Max Q. That's the greatest stress the vehicle is going to experience on the way uphill. Reminder that all of our teams down here on the ground are now looking at systems on the tower, they just did a manual check through. That's going to inform that manual flight director's decision. Next moment coming up, though, is going to be hot staging. Don't take your eyes off it. It's one heck of a light show. What a gorgeous ascent. Six ship engines getting ready to ignite. That's going to happen while we're still attached. We can still see the ship's engines from the ground. Got a little under 30 seconds away from that. We are hearing good call outs on the tower preparedness from the manual checks. Reminder though, we've still got automated checkouts on the booster and the ship itself. But as of right now, our manual checks and our manual commanding is Looking go go for a catch. Booster engine cutoff. That is incredible news. We just heard the call out for booster uh, right, engine Nico. cutoff. Engine startup. Most engines cut off down to those Stage middle three. Booster press startup. All right, hot stage ship, confirmed. We've nominal. got a booster hopefully on our way back to us and a ship now making its ascent burn into space. How's it going in Hawthorne, Jesse? It's great over here. You can hear the crowd screaming for every milestone. Uh, the booster is now making its way back down to Earth. Looks like we have 12 of those 13 engines uh, ignited. Uh, we're using the engines that actually gimbal. We so are go for booster return. An excellent call out there. We are go for booster Ship return. Ship avionics, power and telemetry nominal. There's a lot of criteria that needed to line up to ensure that we could have a booster safe return, shut down. a safe booster catch. And it sounds like we got the go for that. And there you can see on your screen, we had the uh, we just jettisoned the hot stage. And there's a great, excellent view there of the hot stage floating away from the super heavy booster. Now we've shut down the engines for that boost back burn. That confirms boost back burn is now complete. That was the first of two burns required to for the vehicle to make its way back down to Earth. And next coming up will be the landing burn. That's going to be 13 of those center engines igniting again. Uh, and that will then go down to, from 13, down to three engines just right before we touch down for that booster catch. Now, reminder, our stage one objectives are to have a controlled ascent uh, stage separation as well as a controlled boost back burn and hot stage um, as well. So we're looking good for that so far. Some great views there from the ship of Earth. That looks incredible. 
<laughs> now Starship's ship is still firing its engines right now. Starship trajectory nominal. And great call outs. Starship trajectory is nominal. You can follow along the telemetry, the altitude uh, in the bottom left hand corner for the super heavy booster, as well as the bottom right hand corner for the ship. And these views are just amazing. Again, the booster is currently making its way back to the tower today. So we're looking forward to a booster catch with the chopsticks. And in the meantime, you can see those grid fins there helping to control the vehicle and guide it back to its landing site. Booster FTS is saved. Now with that, we're going to hand it back. How's it going over there, Dan and Kate? How are you doing, Kate? Seeing that in person. Um, <laughs> you know, uh, Dan had to take that entire segment because I couldn't talk. That was there incredible. It, there it is. We can see the booster coming back in now through the plume. At least it looks that way to us. Um, it's incredible that it basically returns. It looks like a speeding, um, just like Ship this chamber pressure silver nominal. flare uh, coming back to the, the, once again, we are standing by for uh, 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 attempting to catch the booster at the tower. This would be the second tower catch. Booster landing Landing burn. See it, 13 engines. Booster now hovering as it aligns with the tower for catch. Booster coming in. Down Get ready to for that boom, Kate. Down to three engines. Booster ready for trip out. Megadora has caught the booster. You heard it here, Vexilla has caught the booster. Once again, for the second time, a successful catch by the launch tower. This is the same tower, the launch pad, where that booster took off from just seven and a half minutes ago. Great view from the well chopstick arms looking at those hypersonic grid fins that steer the booster for that precision landing. And it I almost mean, looks like can, it's flapping its wings. Yeah, you can <laughs> see just how small that catch fitting is, too, on something that's just so massive. That was absolutely insane. <laughs> Are those shooting stars? What's that? What is it then? What are those? Look up, everybody! Look up! Look up! <laughs> Thanks everyone for continuing to stick around uh, as we were checking in on the status of the ship. At this point in time, we can confirm that we did lose the ship. Um, however, Starship, uh, the total vehicle did have uh, an on-time liftoff at 4.37 p.m. Central Time from the launch pad just behind us at Starbase Texas. Uh, gorgeous ascent and successful stage separation. The booster uh, pushed the ship off and or, sorry, the ship disconnected uh, during that stage separation. The booster came back for a successful, the, six, the second ever booster catch uh, at the launch tower, which was pretty incredible to see. Yeah, it was great to see the booster come down, but uh, we are obviously bummed out about ship. Uh, it looked like we lost contact with it a little under eight and a half minutes into flight. That's roughly when you start to get to that main engine cutoff. Um, we obviously need to go through all the data. It's going to take some time. In the next hours, days, we're going to figure out exactly what happened, come back, fly the next one, get even farther. Reminder, it's a test. It's a flight test. It's an experimental vehicle. Um, so we'll figure out what what ended our day today and make sure it doesn't end our day tomorrow. So uh, we're, as we do that, we're going to continue to provide you updates on our X account on SpaceX.com. So just continue to tune in there. 
as we learn what happened, we'll be ready to share it. Exactly. So for now, we are going to wrap up our webcast. We'd like to thank the folks in the county uh, for supporting the launch, as well as the agencies that enable us to launch, and of course, to our viewers for tuning in.